I don't know where I'm going. I know I'm going fishing, so I know I'm going. I just don't know where I'm going yet. But I do know it's fishing, so um, that's all that matters. I've never met anybody that gets as wound up in bananas when it comes to fish. Um, in fact, he almost turns a little psychotic on it when, when the fish are coming in and, and he starts yelling and screaming. And the average person would think that he lost his mind. In a shop full of local guides, a few are more local than Brian Horn. This is such a freaking magical place. It's so amazing. It's so nice when there's not a bunch of people here. I love this place. Brian was a mess when, when I first got back into the valley. Um, on the other hand, he's one of my favorite people that I've ever fished with. Brian's family goes way, way back in the valley. I grew up fishing out here. My mom would run, a, uh, run her business in town, and every day she'd drop me off out here, and in the afternoon pick me up. Kept me out of trouble a lot, too, I'm sure. Thanks for that, Mom. It was, I think getting married was probably the best thing that ever happened to him, because when he was out there single, he was a terror. Dang it, I missed him. <laughs> Even back in the day when I could get him drunker than 100 Indians, he wouldn't give up the spots where the good fishing was, and I tried. As far as guiding goes, I've been doing it for a long time, coming out here with clients when I was younger, and even on our own little dude ranch down on Flat Creek. We had a little bit of a dude ranch there, and I'd take guests out fishing and stuff, and it's just so much fun. How well does Brian know the valley? There's probably not an eddy or hole Brian hasn't fished, from the Yellowstone to the green. Look at that, nice trout, man. Beautiful Snake River fine spot. Here you go, tough guy. <laughs> and there's definitely not a guide in the shop who has more history with Will than Brian Horn. I spent a month, let's see, well, three, two, th two, three weeks with Brian down in Baja fishing. We'd been eating beans and tortillas the whole way down there. Uh, we finally hooked a Dorado and we knew we could eat a Dorado. And we went, we wedged about a 40 pound Dorado straight to the boat in about 10 minutes. And the two of us grabbed that line and he threw it in the bottom of the boat. And we're looking at a 14 foot boat. We had me, Brian, and my dog. And we watched a 40 pound fish tear the inside of that boat to shreds. But the best Brian Horn story has to go down as the worst fishing trip ever a day when sinking his brand new boat was only the beginning. Two types of fishing guides, those have sunk one and those are going to. I asked Brian whether I could recount this story. I wanted to have it written down. Brian is on the oars. What happens is you drop in and the next thing you sign, there's a huge elephant butt like rock right in the middle of it. And it's, and it's, it's you're not getting away from it. So I come down through there and I thought, yep, he was right, this is the spot, it's blocked. He wasn't kidding. So they pop out of the river, sopping wet, and I think Brennan got his gear bag back and that was it. Everything else, I'm, I'm figuring $10,000 worth of gear was gone in a breath. There's a fly rod lying in the water with a fly rod kind of planing. They, they jump in his truck with a camper on the back, and the wind rips the camper off the back of the uh, truck and blows it out into the sagebrush off the, the, off the, the so now, they go out in the, in the uh, go out in the, in the sagebrush, drag the camper back up, and lash it onto the trailer, um, which of course doesn't have a boat, towards Hoback, which is just south of Jackson, a little ways. A deer runs out in front of the truck, <laughs> destroys the front of the truck, pops underneath the wheels, and comes up out of the back and goes through all of the windshield the windows of the camper that's lashed to the trailer. <laughs> and in 24 hours, has absolutely had every single thing he owns fishing destroyed. <laughs> that's Brian Horn. Yeah.